What the fuck is that right next to you? Shut oh my god! <laughs> Is there a presence here? Is there a presence here? I'm, I'm here. Yes! There is a presence here. Okay. It seems very weak okay. though. Okay. So, now we need to see where we can go that has the strongest presence to invoke the spirit from another realm. Okay. Okay. Please guide us, spirits, where we could go to invoke the... Proctor Valley Road. It's Proctor Valley Road. You've been talking about it all week. You hear that crackling? Well, yeah. P! P. Yeah, P. What could start with P? Proctor. R. Uh, oh! Okay. Maybe... C. T. Okay. O. R. What does that spell? I don't know. Proctor? Oh, pro Proctor. Proctor Road. Proctor Road, like, like I saw online. It's supposed to be haunted. Salem agrees. And he's our familiar. What a surprise. Shut up. You're disrupting the energy. Oh, yeah, I got it. Good job. I'm going to bring the tripod. It's heavy. I know. She... So we're going to use these dowsing rods so it can guide us on Proctor Road. And X will mean no, and straight will mean yes to lead us to the strongest energy field. At the same time, we'll be using this EMF detector. Okay. And then we will. How does the EMF to... detector work? Well, you know, I got it on Amazon, and it looks like you hit this button. And then you hold it in and search the area. And when it lights up, like we have a little bit of spirit vibe in this house, then we'll know that we're stronger to that area. So when that went orange just now, that means there's there's already some spirits here. Yes, we're getting close, yeah. Okay. It's a strong, it's a medium presence. And then we will clear the air. We will cleanse the area with our sage stick. Okay, so, uh, hey Blaze. Sorry. And then I have a spell. So I, I kind of, we don't, we don't need to be wasting a bunch of film on... I'm uh, sorry, but your energy is just like really negative for this area and it's, it's not going to work if you're here. So, I mean, I kind of feel sorry for you because you're alone in everything. But. Um, All right, well, what, what, what were we, we, uh, were we talking about? What, yeah. What okay. was I talking about? Okay, so the um, dowsing rods, e and then e I meter. have a personal spell written to summon the spirit. Blaze, were you asking about what was I talking about? Because I was saying that we should stop filming and uh, we should kind of do the stuff that we, we talked about. Uh, Miles, uh, if you could just wait in the, the, the bedroom for like just like two minutes and then we're, we'll get going. All right, so the spell book summoning. Okay, I'm going to go wait in the bedroom, I guess. Sorry. Sorry, to, sorry to interrupt you guys. Thank you. Yes, and then I got this cool card from this um, actual real witch in uh, Salem, Massachusetts from Etsy. So we'll bring this to you for good That's our cat's name, Salem. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, if, if, we're on Proctor Valley right now. I mean, did something already supernatural happen? That's all I wanted to know. Um, I'm just saying it's a little weird that my phone that has never just played music randomly played it. Then I tr um, stop it, I lock my phone again, and then it does it again. Maybe it has to do with that banana you're eating. Whoa. So the orange, and then I'm, it was going to the dark. <gasps> and then red. <laughs> the fuck is that? It's been a red since we got it. I'm Don't fucking red. mess up this turn this time. I swear to God, because we've been driving for 45 minutes, and I can't find my right leg. My sciatica. 
Okay. Cool. I'm filming, so it just it just I priestess evergreen that, and miles here. So I would think that a priestess would be able to. You have to ask permission. There's apparently there is Bigfoot um, sightings. Right to stay on Proctor so Valley that's Road. a possibility, as well as a hitchhiker that isn't there, and a demon car. I already. I think we already saw the you. hitchhiker that's not Continue there. On Proctor Valley Road yeah, I think that maybe the hitchhiker mile. that shouldn't be here is in the car right now. Uh, damn, I'm having a hard time focusing, probably because of all the ghosts. So, uh, we're out here in Proctor Valley. Um, it's definitely okay. moving towards the shed. So, we're going to go ahead and, um, we're going to go ahead and head towards the shed. We're going to kind of show you guys a first-hand look at the most haunted road in California. I hear some noises already. It looks like... It's windy, too. too. Okay. Definitely the wind is pushing us forward. Let's so, follow the dowsing rods. Uh, so, uh, it's Blaze, definitely I'll give you... pointing to the shed. Guys, so it looks like, uh, just based on my natural intuition, we're going to go ahead and uh, head over to the shed. Bigfoots out here, they've got reports of uh, aliens, UFOs, and ghosts, so... It's very strong right now. Oh, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, a high priestess. I think a high priestess would need me to drive them, you know? Oh do you my god. What? There's like a noose on the ground. Is there really? There's a beehive right here too. That's pretty spooky if you're scared of, if you're allergic There's to bees. There's a Cali hat. Um, we are in California, so. If you're allergic to bees, this off. is definitely uh, it's scary. Starting to go off. It's starting to go off. Okay, well, yeah, that's. Uh, why don't you guys get some shots? I'm getting out of here. Hail Satan? What's that mean? Let's get the Ouija board and we'll try it. So we could probably, we could probably wrap this up. Do you have um, a spell book or something that we can? No, nah, you know, I don't know. Um, yeah, I got it with my equipment. Your equipment's not with us right now though, right? No. Okay, well then that kind of answers that question. Let's uh. I just want the Dark Lord to come don't down. Don't say stuff like that, Liz. <laughs> yeah. So far this place has been kind of a disappointment. I'm sorry to tell you guys, but. It well, I don't like, know, um, the, the, bee, the, the bee nest is pretty sick. We definitely need to clear this. We can get some honey. Just in case. Just in case, because um, of that reading. This way. Me? Follow me. Okay. She's not my girlfriend. This is my roommate. It's my yeah. roommate okay. Evergreen. Okay. I told you about her. Your roommate Evergreen, high priestess, or whatever. I just. I really feel like something. It, it, we don't need to have. It's kind of me and you shit. kind of have a kind of a vibe, and it's like if you bring your roommate or whatever you want to. Seems kind of like lame. You know what I mean? We can't. All right, have, we won't. We I can't won't, have our normal, our normal we, guy hey, talk, our normal guy talk type humor. This is a, we won't bring her anywhere anymore. It's all right. Is that, all right, so let's just make up. I think that maybe we can kind of make up an excuse and then just turn around. We'll we'll drop her off and then we'll go film our own thing. I think. Is that cool? Oh look, a rainbow. Yeah. No. Oh, it's straight. Look, like a little bit of it coming off from the top of the. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? It's a good sign over there. Where we're going. This is, looks very... Scary. Afterlife. Very Satan-y, which... Postmodern. Wow. I just saw a car past. The, this type of thing isn't important to me, but the occupants were uh, Vietnamese, I think. So... I can confirm that was not a ghost car. I just think based historically on this area, uh, the ghost would be white. So thankfully there is- That stick is just moving on its own. I swear to God it was. Where did it go? Not even, it's like a ghost stick. All right, can we just, let's try to wrap all this stuff up before it gets dark because I don't want to be out here after dark. Uh, I'm really, I'm just wondering, hey, point the rods at the stick. It's moving. What? It just seems kind of like on the nose if we're here in dark, you know? It kind of seems like kind of lame, really. Um, so 
let's film whatever you guys want to film and then we'll uh i've just never seen a stick move like that on its own before go to Debbie's or something ah watch out miles okay, well you're freaking me out now. oh my god look how beautiful my room the presence looks. here is mesmerizing oh my gosh i'm gonna end up with the sunset okay. or do you guys i wanna... think we should go more in yeah, I think we gotta go more in, Miles. I don't know why you're... How about, like, right here? No. All right. Yeah, keep going. Just tell me when to stop. I'll, I'll, I can stop at any point. Just keep... I guess that's kind of, uh... Unfortunately, it looks like I've lost the road, so... You've, you've lost the yeah, road? Yeah, just kind of when you get into the dirt, sometimes that happens. It's kind of a tracking thing. So oh! I, hey, look, you, look, you look, look at it. It looks like it. Trail, so. Looks like I found it. Went and hadn't found the road. It's uh, what we're on straight ahead. If you want to just keep going, yeah, yeah, we're on the road. Good job, Miles. All right. Is anybody's leg starting to tingle? Honestly, I don't really expect us to find any ghosts, but if we find ghosts, look at this mountain. Doesn't that look like for sure? No, it doesn't look scary at all. Alright. It just looks scary. Did you hear that? What was that? I'll be kind of busy for I don't know, probably the next few Fridays. Um, oh, okay, Saturdays maybe me and my too. roommate can uh, we can. Uh, well, no, I just uh, that's not what I was saying. I was saying that you're probably gonna have to stay home for a couple days because I'll Friday, Saturdays mostly are gonna be my dating days. So um, obviously you can't come along. So um, actually, can you start maybe maybe you do some filming? I'm here on the Proctor Valley Road in front of a spooky mountain. I'm gonna check and see if there's any activity because it. I could just feel this presence that's in the air. It's it's palpable. Oh my gosh, wow. I think that that has to um that proves it. Do you have something going on tonight, priestess? Maybe we can I have an Amazon delivery in about an hour. Hey, let's go check out the sunset. I already and saw the sunset for the last like five minutes. You grabbed me too you hard. You guys fight for roommates probably more than I've ever seen two roommates fight. Maybe you guys shouldn't live together. I don't know. Really, if you just listened to me. Yeah, and maybe and honor maybe if you would say. just like, maybe after you cooked you did the dishes. Yeah, maybe maybe you did that. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh it's saying that you're uh uh yep, it's saying you're um total try, like, total really B word. word. I feel sorry for saying me, you're a total B word. I do feel Whatever, it's just a roommate. Uh, I'm thinking about moving out. Uh, that actually be really cool. Maybe you and I can get a place together. What do you think about that? We could. I think yeah, it actually be really. Yeah, maybe me and Miles will get a place together. Yeah, I mean, you both seem pretty emotionally. Uh, Sorry, priestess. You know, it's like you have the spirit of a 14-year-old, so it huh. makes sense. Oh, it looks like you have the spirit of a pedophile. Nothing creepy about this place. All right, so I think that we made a mistake by trying to talk to Ghost. Uh, I'm gonna try to talk directly to like. An, uh, Just be really careful, okay? Okay, I'm gonna be. be careful. I'm gonna be very careful. Uh, let me just try to contact an evil demon, and no. I think that ought to get things going. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Like seriously. Okay, I won't. Okay, Satan, if you can just Wait. show me where the money is, no. Satan. Come on, Satan. No! No! And I mean, that's that's why the channel's not getting anywhere. Um, we've been driving for quite some time. This is night two. We've been looking for haunted places. 
Um, seems like Evergreen didn't really know where she was going. What is that word? Uh, it says Sylvester. That's a, a name. Oh, Sylvester's his name, not Lester. That's even worse. That so we're gonna try earlier. to summon the spirit of this uh, soldier named um, Lester Patty. The soul of Lester Patty. And up here, if you go up these stairs, there's an actual pentagram from when they first formed the party. And people have been coming here on this night for thousands of years to connect with Lester. In order to facilitate the ritual, it requires human blood. We will pour the human blood into this magical chalice. That's real human blood? Well, technically, the demons won't know. So, so we'll just spray some blood in there real quick like that. Yeah. Okay. Then we have to turn, this is the problem is I don't know my coordinates, but I will start out with the summoning spell that I found on what, eBay. What direction are you trying to go? East. Lend me your sight. I don't want to interrupt, but I think east is actually uh, that way. Spirit of this world and the next, lend me your sight. Give us the power to see things that give people fright. Too long they've been trapped in the dark, but now let them in the light. Clearing the east. Spirit of this world and the next, lend me your sight. Give us the power to see things that give people fright. Too long they've been trapped in the dark, but now let them in the light. Guardians of the spirit realm, hear my plea. When the witching hour rings true, bring the spirit who presides over this realm, Sylvester Patty, this realm to me. Darkened souls who hear my call are not welcome in this place. Only the spirit who has peace may enter the sacred space. Is, uh, is that it? For now, yeah. Um, so it is pretty cool. I mean, there's a uh, pentagram here. We've been here for like probably 45 minutes. Um, nothing's really no. happened, but. Is there a. Uh, Evergreen. Is there going to be like a, a ghost or something? Or? Um, yeah. I'm kind of just me messing up the energy here a little bit right now, so. Okay. Um, Blaze, you want to, maybe we go to the other side of the pentagram, we could talk about something I wanted to tell you. It's yeah, kind just of, give me like five minutes. I think there's going to be a ghost. Oh, I think there's a ghost right over there. Ghost lost. Oh, that's a car. Oh, the ghost went under the car. I am I not leaning on this if there's this many spiders. I'm not. You come around here much? Evergreen. Well, doesn't seem like it's a good night for spirits, but um, but where's uh where's where's Miles? No, I haven't seen him. Miles? All right, Miles. Yeah, I just really wanted you to come so you could film this. Um, I think that Evergreen invited me over to like make it official and I just wanted their, I don't know. I don't think any couples, they usually don't have like documented evidence. Put your seatbelt on. Okay. I got her a, a talisman. I, I drew a picture of my face and put it on it. I'm gonna give it to her. I'm gonna tell her, I made this whole speech about how 
I'm giving you this so you always can hold me in your heart even if I'm not there. Um, I just, uh, I wanted, I, you're gonna be the best man at my wedding and I wanted you to film how it all started. Does that make sense? Are you, are you happy for me? Sounds great. Sounds, yeah, sounds really good to you. I don't know, it's just, it's an important part of my life. I just thought you'd be happier. Yeah. All right. So I think she invited me here to make it sort of official. I got Evergreen this talisman. It's sort of a voodoo doll. I just want, it's to symbolize our love and I want her to know, look it, you have me. Check it out. Yeah, it's a... Uh... Um, I got you this. This is a talisman. I think. Uh, you... Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, you did a good job. So, right now, though, I actually have to tell you something. Okay. okay. So, I'm not going to really be around that much anymore. Oh. Um, I invited oh, no. you here to kind of tell you that, uh, like, I met someone. Congratulations. Um, so, you see, like, Lester and I. Um, that's what he likes to be called. Well, we really connected, um, a lot and I really, really like him and, uh, yeah, he invited me to stay here. What are you talking about? I know that he doesn't seem real to you, but, you know, he died like you have to have a certain kind of energy to understand, like, the ghost world and... Um, I've never felt a connection like this before. I, I completely get it. I completely get it. So I guess it's just, you know, the two amigos back again. Yeah, you guys can go on your next adventure. It was nice to meet you. Yeah. Really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, You'll do a good Sylvester, job. Sylvester, is this, is this where he's? I don't even, I don't even know where he is. All Maybe right. not Ghost Tennis. Is this a joke or? It's okay. It's I'll all right. I'll talk to you later. High five. This is fucking, this is a joke. Well, you got what you wanted, can we go? I mean, I don't know, it'd be cool to, to see here. a ghost home. I'd... So, so you live here now, Evergreen? Oh yeah, this is my new place. You know, looks it's, great, yeah. it really looks beautiful, wow. Built like 15,000 years ago. 15,000, yeah. And um, actually this is where Lester's home is. I mean, I know that it's a parking lot, but um, we're in the process of restoring it. So it's gonna be like a mansion, like. It's a parking lot. But it's gonna be like a ghost mansion. Blaze, I'm trying to get an interview done. Oh, it's gonna be a ghost mansion. Yeah, so no one will actually be able to see it except for me. That sounds fantastic. I'm very interested. Do you want to maybe give me a little floor plan tour? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, negative Nancy. Baby. Such so, a... Do you still want a tour? So right now we're actually standing on authentic flooring. Oh, I'll be right back. What is it? No, not right now. Okay, fine. Um, I'll be right there, guys, okay? <laughs> Take your time. Lester and I are actually a part of this circus of ghost clowns, and um, I've been practicing my act. Uh, he's been helping me, because actually his hands are right here, and then he, he shows me how to do it, and then we love to like grab this one rope and we're like, oh God, Lester, let go, you're so strong. So are you oh. miming or are you? Well, he's helping me, it's just that it's a ghost and um, it's an act between him and I that we'll, we'll show. It looks really good, honestly. I wouldn't just say that to you. Oh, thank you. I think it looks really good. That's what we do in our free time. All right, so careful, watch your step. Um, there's actually a grill right here, and Looks some great. coals we're keeping hot. So I'm just gonna get this started here. If you guys are hungry, yeah, uh, we got a couple of T-bones we've been marinating for a while. Yep, almost done. 
medium rare? That yeah, that's fine. Oh sure, that's how that's how we like them. All right, just give it a few minutes. I'll just turn the the heat down a little bit. There we go. <sighs> Need something to drink. Really. Well, I think you dodged a bullet, man. You know, you know what they say: women are crazy, something like that. What does a ghost have that I don't have? And Evergreen you... texted me. She's pregnant. <laughs> Is it yours? It's definitely not mine. How do you know? Can you get pregnant from hugging? Oh. What kind of baby is that even gonna be? Oh, oh, I don't, I, uh, I don't exist on my dad's side. You know, I really thought that I had something special with her, and that I was gonna be with her forever. So I made her this talisman, and it's of me. And if this talisman dies, I die. And I just wanted doing? to let you know, okay. I just wanted to let you know that I had a really good time making content with you. And I think we, we made some great stuff, but stop. it's- Just cut it out. You're, you're embarrassing yourself. Just stop. Just, Goodbye, Miles. No. Goodbye. Okay. All right, Miles and Blaze back together again. We are in Old Town, San Diego. It has the most haunted place in San Diego right down there. That is the Whaley House. We are obviously gonna check that out later, but there's tons of ghost activity around this whole area. Blaze, what do you gotta to say to the people? Um, it's Old Town, it's, it's, it's great. So haunted, it's scary. You see the sign here, uh, tequila made me do it. <laughs> it's not all about ghost hunting here for us. It's just, you know, sometimes just some friends having some good laughs. Hey, Blaze, did you catch this sign? Blaze? He's a war hero. It's not real. She's just... And even if he is real, you still can't see him or feel him. You don't think it's possible to have a sexual relationship with a ghost? Um, I was just kind of thinking, maybe you just getting dumped in a graveyard, it's a little, uh, it makes you seem like a lot more lonely, and it's kind of depressing, I don't know. Oh, is it depressing? Is it? 